you know, there are some shows that Dad made that I enjoy less. Oh, but, go on. Uh, we'll no, get no, to those I'm, in a minute. I, well, it's, you know, it's the, some of the early shows, maybe like Twizzle and Torchy, the ones that actually were not really his his shows. Um, but as soon as he took the reins and it, would, it became his own, every single show, there's something to love about it. And obviously that countdown is is incredibly iconic. How, how old were you when Thunderbirds was at its peak? Uh, well, when Thunderbirds was at its original peak, I was I was minus 20. Right, yeah. Uh, but uh, in the, when when, it, it's, it's resurgence in the 90s. Exactly. I was six years old right. in 91. Uh, and suddenly at school, all of my friends were coming in oh. and they were going, oh, we watched that show. It's yeah. amazing. It's yeah. so cool. <laughs> and their parents were coming in and saying, oh my God, that's your dad that made that. So, you know, what an amazing way to span generations from a, from a puppet show. And you, you hung out in the studio with him, didn't you? Yeah, I spent a lot of time, uh, in the, especially in the 90s, once there was this resurgence and I realised that actually he, he made the shows and was, you know, at the helm of this thing. Uh, he made a show in the 90s called Space Precinct and I spent a lot of time uh, at the studio, on set in the art department, sat in his office, just watching how the whole thing went. And it was an amazing time. I was... A, a very, very lucky child to be able to play with all those toys, basically. So tell me a bit about Firestorm. Uh, Firestorm is one of his lesser known projects. He wrote it in 2001. Um, it's uh, it's a kind of far future, uh, sort of 22nd century project. Um, it's a utopian future, so a oh. nice refreshing change from the sort of dystopian uh, setting that we've got for most sci-fi these days. And it ended up being made as an anime series uh, for the Japanese in 2003. But I'm going back to the original stuff. We're going for puppets in the Thunderbird style, those lovely caricatured puppets, practical effects. So, you know, real explosions and cool stuff like that. Beautiful was, was miniatures. That, was that a no-brainer for you? Or did was there some pressure to bring it, quote, up to date? Um, new, new technology and the like? Uh, just, I think just because we can use new technology, we don't have to. Um, and there's something incredibly charming about puppetry. You know, in the same way that I'm sure when photography came up, uh, you know, people thought, oh, that's the death of painting. Um, but obviously there's something beautiful about painting. There's something beautiful about photography. So in the same way, why shouldn't we use practical Would stuff? you have rather have been bringing back Thunderbirds? Um, is there a rights issue, I think, isn't there? there well, I, ITV are doing their own new series of Thunderbirds next year. Mm. Um, and they're going down the route of, of model sets, but CGI characters and craft. Um, which I think is a perfectly legitimate choice. I'm sure they do a wonderful job. Perfectly, perfectly legitimate doesn't sound like the greatest of praise. No, no, for the idea, I'm, I'm, to I'm totally yeah. happy with it. But my my love is for actual models. You know, there's something yeah. lovely. I, I brought, I've got the sculpts in the studio in the studio with me, but they people see them and they gather around because yeah, there's yeah, something exciting about the tangibility. So do you own some of those? Who, who's got Parker and Lady Penelope and all that? Those original originals? puppets are all over the world in are private they? collections. They're incredibly pricey. You know, if you if you want an original Thunderburst puppet, you bet. better you better have five <laughs> figures in your back pocket. Wow. Yeah. That's a shame though, isn't it? I mean, wouldn't you rather they were, you know, being able to be seen by the public? All these or things. in your house? <laughs> well, they, Penelope and Parker were in my wardrobe for a long time. Were they? Really? Uh, yeah, but they, were, they were sold the at socks. auction. Uh, they, were, they were in sort of odd bin bags. It was rather sad for them, actually. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, they're, they're amazing pieces of artistry.